Hey guys, so today I submitted an update to Mod Locator for MCPE, which adds user submitted seeds to the app. So this is a really cool feature and you know, it's just like user submitted mods and user submitted servers, but I still wanna go over it because it is new and I said I would be doing this a while back and I just got to it. Uh, I guess it wasn't all that long ago, but I did get it and it's a great feature because I don't really have all that many seeds in this app. So uh, this can definitely add to the collection of seeds. Uh, you know, people can submit whatever they want and there is like, all kinds of different seeds out there. There's just an endless amount of seeds. Uh, so this can definitely, you know, add a lot more to the app if you're into seeds. So let's go ahead and just look through it. So go to the maps page and underneath where the seeds button is, uh, you can see there is now user submitted seeds. So let's go to that page, go to seeds, and there's two seeds here. So there's the two I added. I was actually just doing a video before this and for whatever reason, the video just stopped recording. So that's what test seed is, it's kind of stuck there and then there's also land bridges and waterfalls which is an actual seed that i'm gonna be leaving there and uh, if you select it you can see the title uh, the title of the seed goes to the top of the pop-up box there's a little bit of a description there and then you have the seed there that says life 360 and then you can also copy the seed to your clipboard uh, if you want to do that so that's how it works and you know since the update isn't actually out for everybody yet as of this recording it should be out a couple hours after this recording uh, you know, there's not anything added yet, but I'm going to go ahead and just submit one so you can, you can all see how it works. So uh, when you select submit a seed for the first time, you do have to go through a tutorial as usual because I just want people to be able to, to know, you know, how it works and know the rules if they haven't seen them before. And then uh, you go to this page after the mod tutorial or not mod tutorial, the seed tutorial is done. So we have to type in a title. Let's just call it test mod two. Easy enough. This is another test mod because the first one effed up. Uh, maybe I should just do like that. There we go. Now it makes more sense. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Test mod. Whoops. For whatever reason, it wouldn't let me type teat mod. I don't know if it's like a, like a bad word or something. Whatever. Uh, submit seed. Give it a few seconds. Uploading. Please wait. Just, uh, let it do its thing. And then it says that it has completed uploading. So we hit close, wait a few seconds for the server to accept the mod, refresh it and add it to the list. Should be there now, maybe not. Yep, there it is, test mod two, select it. And you can see we can uh, view that. I will delete that because it's not an actual seed. Well, test mod, it might be. Wait, why did I test type test mod? Did I do that the first time? Nope. I typed in test mod, I just noticed that. I keep thinking mod, but it's seeds. Anyways, there we go. That's how the seeds work. Really simple, and you know, a lot of you already know how this works because you've submitted mods and servers or used the submitted mods and submitted servers in the past. Same deal there, but I also wanna go over a couple other things. So uh, first off, I have uh, some new 0.12.x servers. I think uh, from Pig Raid and up are all new. Uh, just, you know, new stuff of course also some bug fixes and the biggest one is i added some security against unofficial versions of this app so that just means anybody who like decompiles the app edits the code recompiles it and installs it hey look obama said something after the shooting cool little pop up at the top anyways now i lost my train of thought where was i uh, oh yeah, so well, yeah, what it does is it just blocks people from being able to edit the code. So if you know somebody's us using an unofficial version, the app completely disables itself so that it can't be run on the device anymore. That's just you know, well generally I wouldn't have a problem with it. You know, people can edit the code all they want, but what I'm having a problem with now, uh, or at least I'm not really having a problem with it, but I could have a problem with in the future is people edit the code to get around the rules of submitting you know mods and textures or not textures uh, mods and uh, uh, seeds and servers and stuff like that, people could get around the rules by editing the code. So that's why I added that in. So if somebody uses, you know, an unofficial version, it does uh, prevent that so that they don't get around the rules because that could have been a problem. It wasn't a problem, but it, you know, it could have been. So uh, that's why I added that feature in, uh, which is kind of a bummer for some people because I personally, I like to edit apps sometimes, especially like the built-in system apps in Android, uh, just editing them and you can change, you know, how they look and stuff like that. It's actually really fun to get into, but uh, with something like this, I just don't want people getting around the rules. I want it to be more secure. I don't want to get in trouble with Google and I just want the app to be co uh, completely clean and, you know, for everything to just work properly for people. So that's why I did that. Uh, just some extra security in there that will disable the app. And that means that all, 
what it'll do, it'll, it'll just pop up with the little gray screen and it tells you that you have a counterfeit version installed. And all you have to do is uninstall that one, reinstall the fresh new one from the Google Play Store or my website, and that'll work as usual so that you don't have to worry you know, about you know not being able to use it ever again. You just have to uninstall the unofficial version because uh, some people might not know about the rules, so that's why you know I gave that option in there for them if they you know if they you know had an unofficial version and uh, ran it not knowing about the rules. So now I'm just kind of rambling on, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you plan on submitting a seed to the app. That'd be really cool to see what some people say, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.